In this lesson, we're going to break down the word HTML. HTML is short for Hypertext Markup Language. So let's start with hypertext. Hypertext is just the text in a web page. It's called hypertext is because it's kind of like hyperactive text. What it's trying to describe is the fact that HTML pages can move around the world super quick. So you could, for instance, put something, uh, a status update on Facebook, and your friend in the other side of the country can see it right away. It's super fast. Compare this to printed text on paper. Now, if you wrote something and you wanted, or if you wrote a letter and you wanted to send it to your buddy, you have to write the letter, then you have to go to the post office, send it, and four or five days later, it gets it. So it's pretty slow compared to HTML, compared to web pages. That's why it's called hypertext. Think of hyperactive text. I know today we look at this and we go, yeah, well, big deal. But you got to remember, this is just 20 years ago or so, this was invented, and this was a big deal, and it really changed the world. Hypertext is uh, super cool. So what is, what's a markup language? A markup language is basically a computer language that is used to mark up a page, or in other words, it's used to give more information about a page. There's a, a few markup languages out there, but HTML is by far the most important, and that's what we're learning here, so we'll talk about HTML. So HTML is the markup language of hypertext, right? And what it does is that it describes to web browsers, like Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, so on, the markup language describes what is in the web page. So that could be paragraphs of text, it could be images, it could be video files, it could be MP3 files. That's what the markup language, the HTML markup language is used for. It's used, again, to describe what is inside a page. And that's what a markup language is all about.